Welcome to Financial Literacy, your one-stop channel for all things finance. In a world where money matters, understanding the ins and outs of finance is crucial. We're here to make that journey easier, enlightening you with knowledge that can shape your financial future. Today, we're delving into an intriguing topic, the signs that suggest you might be part of the upper middle class. So are you ready to decode your financial status? Strap in as we dive into the top five signs that you just might be in the upper middle class. The first sign that you're in the upper middle class is your income level. Now, what do we mean by a high income level? Well, it's not as straightforward as it may seem. High income level is a relative term and varies from one region to another and from one country to the next. For instance, in the United States, you're considered to be in the upper middle class if your household income is roughly between $75,000 and $100,000 a year, although this can vary depending on where you live. In contrast, in a country like India, an annual income of around $20,000 might put you in the upper middle class. It's important to note that these figures are not set in stone. They change with economic conditions, inflation rates, and cost of living adjustments. So if your income falls within these brackets, you might be in the upper middle class. The second sign of being in the upper middle class is your education level. Now, let's delve into that a bit. There's a strong correlation between education level and income class. Typically, the more education you have, the better job opportunities you attract, and consequently, the higher your income tends to be. Consider this. A person with a high school diploma might land a job that pays decently, but a person with a master's degree or a PhD is likely to secure positions that come with significantly higher paychecks. This isn't a hard and fast rule, of course, but it's a noticeable trend. For instance, a lawyer or a doctor, professions that require advanced degrees, usually earn more than a retail manager, a position that often requires only a high school diploma. This isn't about merit but rather the economic reality of our society. Therefore, a higher education level could indicate that you're in the upper middle class. The third sign is home ownership. Now, this isn't just about having a roof over your head. It's about investing in real estate as a means to build wealth. Home ownership, especially in a high-end neighborhood, can be a strong indicator of upper middle class status. Why? Well, it's because purchasing a house often requires a substantial financial commitment, one that typically necessitates a steady high income. Furthermore, properties in affluent areas tend to appreciate in value over time, providing homeowners with a significant return on investment. This isn't to say that everyone who owns a home in a swanky neighborhood is upper middle class. However, it's a common trend that many in this financial class choose to invest in real estate as a way to grow their wealth. So owning a home, particularly in an affluent area, could be a sign that you're in the upper middle class. The fourth sign is having substantial savings and investments. This isn't about having a few dollars tucked away for a rainy day. We're talking about a hefty sum, a nest egg that offers a comforting level of financial security. The upper middle class often has this cushion not just in a savings account but in a diversified portfolio of investments. This might include stocks, bonds, real estate, or even private business ventures. These investments allow them to generate wealth, not just preserve it. They understand the power of compound interest, of letting their money work for them while they sleep. So having significant savings or investments could be another indicator of being in the upper middle class. The final sign is your lifestyle and spending habits. Upper middle class individuals typically lead a life punctuated with a certain degree of luxury. This does not necessarily mean splurging on extravagant items every day, but it does mean having the financial comfort to indulge in non-essential items without causing a dent in your budget. Think about it. Are you able to take vacations, dine at upscale restaurants, or invest in high-quality products without the fear of overspending? Do you see yourself prioritizing experiences over material possessions? These aspects of your lifestyle can serve as indicators of your financial standing. In conclusion, your lifestyle and spending habits could also reflect your upper-middle-class status. So there you have it. The five signs that you could be in the upper-middle-class. We've explored income levels, 
education, home ownership, savings and investments, and lifestyle habits. Remember to subscribe to Financial Literacy for more insightful videos. Stay financially savvy.